zipping down some brush, removing this fur here. Full removal. So on this one we're using a zip line system to get all the limbs out away from their landscaping into a nice pile. We're using our Vermeer with a friction device on it as our base anchor so we can let down and tension up real easy. Our friction device is, we call it a dog bone, but it's a figure eight style device with extra ears to make it easier for locking off and adding friction. So we tension up on our line so Sam can send the next series of limbs and then we'll let down on the line and come in and retrieve our zips from the limbs. Five feet below that, anywhere in there. Cool. There we go. It's close, yeah. You could if you shaded this way a little bit, but it's gonna be a little hard on the cedar. Yeah. Face that tree. around a little bit. This little tiny climber. Yeah. Gonna be bringing the chipper back eventually. So we have a pull line set up in the top and we'll be pulling it over with the Vermeer. It's very important not to put too much pull on it. You really just want just barely enough so it minimizes the hinge pull on the stem that the climber is on. Makes it have a smoother ride. After the top sent out, we come in and start pulling the rope out of the top so I can get it cleaned up before the next stem comes down. We try not to crush it as much as possible. It makes more cleanup for us. While I'm cleaning up the top, Robert, our other groundsman, is going to grab a bigger saw and send that up to our climber so we can start working on the next face. out of our top down the hill a little ways perpendicular to where our next chunk will be sent 
just in case it tries to roll down the hill, it won't go far. And I also have Robert put a couple faces on either side of the log, so when it gets bumped, it doesn't roll anywhere itself. Got to take a chunk. Man. Tying up our pull line for the next chunk using a bullet on a bite. Now we're just untying the ropes from the machine and our previous chunk, and then we'll be felling the remainder of the stem from the ground. Sam is facing up the remainder of the stem. I'm grabbing our last few logs out of the drop zone to prevent any kind of bouncing or possibly losing a log down the hill. A huge advantage to using a zipline system is now all the limbs are in a perfect pile for chipping so we can just back up when we're ready to chip and chip it all in. Yeah. 
super ready rock. She's lined up with her pile nice. Snake in my boot. Alright. Got her all cleaned up in the front here, mostly. And take a handrake over it. And then we're getting up into this tree back here. Sam's up in there. Then we're on to the next. <laughs> 